Gosh dang it. <laughs> Come here, Adazi. Where are you? Oh, I could have used sodium nitrate? Okay, well, I know that in the, for the future. Okay, this is for long, uh, long distance communication, holographic communication. Oh, hi. This is neat. Who's there? You? It's you again? You really are real, aren't you? You aren't a dream? Say you hope so. Sorry, it's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the... It's easy to create a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry. I haven't heard another voice in so long, not since I cut the speaker from my exosuit. It said such terrible things. Ask who they are or ask... I'm, we're going to ask what they are. The stranger smiles through the static. I'm just like you. You are a traveler of worlds, aren't you? Asks how they know. They do not respond with speech. They transmit a vision, a red star, and a fragile world. I do not understand the shapes within, the whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxy. I see this stranger's first breath, yearning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in the crimson void, waiting for a dream of worlds. Oh, that sounds kind of weird. And through the darkness, I hear it said. Anomaly detected. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what they what they meant. Designation traveler. Awaken. What I showed you just now, it has haunted me since I awoke. You must recognize it too. We are the travelers, discoverers of worlds. From the moment you opened your eyes, you must have known you were not like the others. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was on a journey to finally meet. It cannot be coincidence that you found the signal. Tell me, do you still have the data log from the crash ship? Um, let's upload the data. We upload the we upload the records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found in the crash vessel. Much of my equipment is damaged. I am alone, on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I don't even know how your signal is reaching me, but this is the ship you found. It belongs to or it belonged to me once. Perhaps there is hope after all. We need to work out where we are both or where we both are. If you build a signal boosters signal boosters across this system, we should be able to triangulate your position. I'll be able to Find my way out, and you'll be able to get the answers you seek. Okay, I, yeah. I mean, what else are we going to do? Okay, you're going to save my life. You're going to find me. Thank you. All right. All right. That's cool. That's cool. I'm down. We need objectives. Place for a beacon. Do I just, like, where do I place it? Just anywhere? Oh, signal booster. All 
All right. There's a Dawsey's family. Look at him. This is basically like this. This planet goes to sleep at night. Like there's like, from what I've seen, there's like no animals out at night. But during the day, there is just stuff flying around all over the place. What is that? Oh, it's just sticking out of the side this time? <laughs> I looked up to see, like, I looked up to look at the clouds. But then there's that planet that is just right there. I think I might be on a moon, though. Maybe. I mean, that way people can see what I'm doing. What I'm working on. A big head was in the way. Yeah, there we go. What? Oh, it is down here. Oh, it's right here. I figure I'm going to need more sodium to build more of them, so I'm trying to find some sodium before I go placing these things. I don't know exactly what navigation data is used for. Can I just, like, delete it? Can I delete it? I can delete it right there? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that's what I'm going to start doing from now on. Hey, Zoing. How are you? Okay, let's... I don't think we need any of the slimes, do we? It is lush. It is a, uh, it's my home paradise planet. It is very chill here, which is nice. I read it, I, I like said it to myself a few times and I'm glad I actually said it right. 
But if I don't ever say someone's name right, make sure to correct me. I would like to know how I'm supposed to say people's names. It teaches me for future encounters. Because I have said so many people's names wrong. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one, but it's definitely a thing. Yeah, apparently, Zoing, I, I was informed that whenever you first... Your system that you first spawn in has a Paradise Planet. But I think that after that, they're a little bit harder to find. So enjoy your Paradise Planet. Use it to the best of your abilities. <laughs> like, really enjoy it. What is... where? Okay, where is Adazi? What the heck was that? Oh, okay. It was just some of the birds. <laughs> okay. I thought it was like a big bird. Yeah, Zoing, that's awesome, man. I just recently started a few days, too. I've got a wonderful community here that knows lots about the game, so... If you have any questions, if I can't answer them, maybe one of them can. Yeah, since you set up a base on it, Zoing, and uh, if you set up a portal there, you'll always be able to teleport back to it anytime you want to. Okay, we need to make a metal plate. Oh, I need some carbon. Wait, do I need carbon? No, I need ferrite dust. Oh, thanks. <laughs> My bug just, uh, relieved himself, uh, like right on top of me. I was like, what is that? <laughs> you just bought your first ship for two million? Nice. Congratulations, man. Getting that first new ship is, it feels great, doesn't it? You can use your ship for strafing runs to gather as well. What do you mean? Like just destroying it? Like pew pew? Oh, 
Oh, okay, so just like you do in space. Okay, let's set one of these beacons down. Oh, someone gave you activated copper? I would... If someone else gives you activated copper, you might want to keep it. <laughs> uh, just a heads up. A small one. It's not, like, super easy to come by. And you might need it for things. So wait, I just... Oh, hello. Okay. I have no idea what this thing does. Oh, that's cool. Why? I should have had one of these from the get-go. Dude, that's cool. Oh man, I should have made one of those a long time ago. There's actually some great heals on this planet that I should do. Whoa, hello. What are you doing out here, dude? Oh. oh okay, cool. Thanks, dude. Super cool guy. Just recharge my life support. How nice. I've never seen someone just standing out in the elements. I mean, given that this place doesn't really have a whole lot of elements, but still. Okay. You gonna... There we go. Oh, we're gonna have to go off planet. Okay. Well, we're gonna... I actually haven't visited a whole lot of planets in this solar system, I don't think. Anyways, uh, Zoing, what kind of ship did you end up getting? Uh, 
Oh yeah, this is my first planet. This is the planet they like that the very first planet I visited. I've actually got a base here too. This is a radiation planet. What are you? Is this a bad idea? Oh yeah, this is a bad idea. This is Sentinel stuff. Surely, th this isn't a bad idea. Oh, reinforce the door though? Bruh. Thank you so much for following Zoing. Welcome to the Warband. We are so glad to have you. And, uh... Buy an A-Class fighter that looks really cool for $2 million? Dude, that's a good... Uh, that sounds like a pretty good deal. I'm gonna shoot it down with, uh... I'm gonna shoot it with my... My weapons. My ship weapons. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're fine. We're fine. I'm going to wait for that countdown to end, and then I'm going to land there and, you know, free launch stuff. Oh, yeah, Zoing, if you didn't know, if you land on a launch pad and launch from there, uh, it doesn't cost you any launch fuel. That's something that someone, that they told me immediately, and it helped, it's helped me out a lot. So if you, if you see that spot, that, that, circular spot. Make sure to land on those. Apparently, whenever a computer is breaking, you don't stick carbon into it. Just saying. Don't do that.
Oh, you always seem to be out of uh, dihydrogen. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I mentioned it to you is because I think probably most people start out in that situation. Wait, did I miss something in this building? No. Oh, wait, wait, no, I just need to set it up here? Wait. Oh, I don't actually have to do anything here, I think. Some things can't be really destroyed by the shit stuff. That's neat. Unless you run into it. It has a huge inventory. I actually found it through through the quest. Uh, I found it. I found it through the quest, and uh, it actually has a ridiculous. Like it has forty one plus six. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, haulers are really expensive. So I kind of, I actually found something pretty nice. I mean, it's only a C, but it's worth a lot of money. Because of all the spaces on it. A space shotgun? Okay. There's so much to explore on this game. Like, the fact that I'm still finding lots of areas on, on these planets is crazy.
What up, Senpai? How you doing? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, fine. I didn't know what you were asking me, dude. Yeah, it has been a minute since uh, Dungeon Defenders Awakened. Yeah, man, it's been a cool minute. How you been? Okay, 9162. So they're taking the 9 from the front and moving it to the end. Uh... One six two nine, and then yeah, so so that's what they're doing. So it'd be two nine one six. Same thing here. So it'd be six five three three. I have discovered a new world within within the infinite void. Well that's cool. Have I really discovered something? Six four three six. It's increasing my standing, so I'm just going to keep doing it. I stand at the tournament as tiny drones go about a series of perfunct, uh, perfunctory cleaning routines within this pristine observatory. Cleaning clearly the former. Overseer was a stickler for cleanliness, but perhaps less conscientious about monitoring incoming communications from dis distant reaches of space. A beacon blinks inevitably on the monitor. If I could enter the correct access code, perhaps it could make valuable discovery. I don't know what's going on here. I'm just... Hopefully this is actually increasing my standing every time I do this. It's been good. You've been started playing Rust. You've been enjoying it? And Forsaken, you're on zone 8 now. 7 was a little rough. But wasn't ready for it, right? Yeah, this is like the fourth time now we just... So they're letting me do it a lot. Okay. 4735. That time it didn't increase my standing. I'm going to try it one more time, though. They're doing it backwards this time. Wait. Yeah, they're doing it backwards this time. So it would be six, five, three, eight. Hey, dude, it, it increased my standing. Do I just keep doing this?
I mean, hey, dude, if it's going to let me do this. Thank you, Weegis. For some reason, because my brain works left to right, moving it from the right to left isn't hard, but it, my brain has a, like, it, it, it struggles with it for some reason. Okay, so the standing popped up one more time. It, it popped up and disappeared really quick, so I guess it's given to me every time. Is there a place we can check the standing with the uh, Corvax? Next rank in three. Let's check and see if it's uh, actually working. Okay, so it is it is working. So I at least I'm gonna do it at least like two more times, I guess. Get that next rank. Wait, is it the same question? Oh my gosh, it's the same question and the same answer. What would y'all do in this situation? Would you keep doing it or would you take the little rep that you got and get out? 